this video we're going to look at how we use naming standards templates within ER Studio to produce nice camel case names for our JSON models. So the usual mission is, is in our logical models we want to use nice expanded logical names, business friendly names. But in our physical models we want more technical names and in JSON we'll probably use uh, something like camel case. So a little example here, expanded logical name in the logical and then on the right there's our camel case. So each word it starts with a capital letter and there's no spaces. So how do we do this? So here in Data Architects in our data dictionary we can create these naming standards templates and we can use these when we generate a physical model. So I can select a naming standards template. So when I take my logical, I'll then generate a physical model. The physical model will have the converted names. Alternatively, you can use the naming standards utility, which is a really um, useful tool to apply either directly to the logical or the physical, and it'll create uh, logical names for us. So if I open up this entity, my logical model, I've got an entity name, and then I've got a default uh, table name, and likewise for all of the uh, attributes here the naming uh, standards utility we can actually generate these default uh, physical names from the logical automatically and this is good because every time we generate a physical model from this logical it will use these default table names however you might want to have different naming conventions for different platforms so if you're generating an oracle database you might use one naming standards template if i'm generating a json model i might use a different one but uh, here's for this logical model where you, you set the default names for each uh, object so to create a naming standards template uh, for your json so i've got a, a naming standards template i've used elsewhere so the number of things you can do so the first thing is you set the the default case of the logical or physical logical we're just going to leave that alone because we're going to use these nice expanded logical names for our physical we're going to select for tables and columns you could also do the same for views and indexes which don't apply obviously in, in json set upper camel and you've also got the options of, of lower camel so the first letter of the first word will be in lower case all upper or lower so we'll select upper camel the next thing we want to do is um, well there's two things we could do the first one is where we've got long names we can apply abbreviations so you could create an naming standards template um, which has all these uh, standardized expansions and contractions so i've got the word components i want to replace it with cmp so you can put whatever standard contractions uh, that you want to use in here and then the last thing you want to do is to, to get rid of that space. So we've left our logical word separation by character. Uh, physical word separation is by case. And then in our special character list, and you can remove other special characters as well. Um, I've added everything, including a space. And I'm going to say remove any of those characters. So we can save that uh, naming standards template. And then if I use my naming standards utility, what I do is on the first tab, select um, the naming standards template I want to use. My source is going to be my logical name. My target is going to be my physical name. And then if we go to our output tab, then we can select individual entities and attributes. And then you can run the translation and see the effects of it. So address ID is taken address. It's found the, the contraction ADR and it's removed the space. There it is. And ADR line is the next one again removing the spaces uh, given gender there was no contractions for either of those two words but it's just removed the space and put it into camel case so as simple as that and the last thing i want to do if i want to set the standard names in my logical model i hit ok and then it's gone through and it's applied um, those names so if i go and look at uh, given gender here edit it then my default column name will be given gender okay so that's how to use naming standards to create camel case thanks for watching